guys what's up welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello i'm cam if you guys are new here i'm doing vlogmas i am on a pretty good roll if i do say so myself so today instead of a typical vlog i feel like it's getting a little vloggy i don't know like i just i want to switch it up a little bit instead of doing like a day-to-day -day vlog as you guys know i do work a lot outside of youtube so like sometimes it can get a little hectic for me to film every day when like majority of the day i'm working you know what i mean so today i thought i would show you guys my typical everyday makeup i don't wear makeup every day but like if i'm gonna wear makeup this is what i do so i figured this would be pretty helpful for those who have questions as to like how i make my face look the way it does on instagram or like when i want to look good this is the routine that i typically go for so if you guys want to know what i do for my everyday routine stay tuned keep on watching and definitely subscribe down below so the first thing i typically do before i touch my face because my skin is very very sensitive you guys can see like i have some breakouts going on but they're a lot better than what they were so knock on wood so i'm going to use these neutrogena hydration makeup remover cleansing towelettes just to like wipe off anything i have on my fingers or you can just wash your hands if you're not lazy like i am i just wet my beauty blender so like i'm scared that like the makeup will get on my fingers so once your fingers are all clean it's time to prep and prime the skin for prepping and priming i obviously use like a moisturizer and you guys can definitely see that in my upcoming skincare routine but um i use these two moisturizers one by bio essence and one by tatcha love these two so so much i'll have them linked down below for you guys if you want to check them out for sure but so for priming i use two primers and i also use a separate beauty block i can't talk today a separate beauty sponge so i will first use this tatcha silk canvas primer i have hit pan on it i don't know the correct way to use it but i just use a beauty blender i use a separate one and i'll just put this all over my face and I love this stuff because basically, I say this in every single video that I use it, but it's basically just like your little layer before foundation. You know what I mean? Like just because like foundations will just sink into your pores and then make you break out. And then like I just don't need that in my life. So I will just use this with a beauty blender and basically treat it like my foundation and I'll put it all over my face. And I'm really sad that I have to get a new one because this is not cheap. I do say so myself but honestly this is definitely one of the best beauty blenders I've ever or one of the best primers I have ever used and it just gives you such a nice like start before foundation and this will give you a white cast so just a by the way don't be startled so I just put that all over my face and put extra where the parts that I like don't want to move if you know what I mean and then the next thing that I will do is use this for Solly skin tune blur this is definitely like one of my go-to primers I'm obsessed with it it works so so well with the um why aren't you focused with the Tatcha Silk Canvas and I got my mom into this combo and she's obsessed with it if I do say so myself she says she can't go a day without using it so I'll use a little little bit of it just like that and put it where I want it want like more blur I guess you could say I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need to restock on like everything really really soon but this all has lasted me for so long, like since the beginning of the school year. So I just tap that in, wipe off, <laughs> and then we're gonna go into foundation. I used to start with eyebrows, but typically not lately. Also using this mirror, so if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at my mirror. So the foundation that I have been using is the Luminous Foundation by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I actually didn't think I'd like it, but I love it. It's definitely one of my favorites. And so I just got matched to this color and I'm really, I'm scared to see how white this is. <laughs> I love this and I also love mixing it with the Born This Way foundations. These are like my summer shades, so ignore that. But I don't know how I was this color last winter. This is like really tan. But anyway, those are like also another great like alternative to this foundation. But this one, I don't know. I just love the way it looks. So I'll use my Dirty Beauty Blender. That's for my foundation. And I'll just squirt this on the back of my hand. This is brand new. If you guys didn't see my Vlogmas when I was buying my mom's Christmas present, I was like, hmm, I kind of need a new foundation. So that's exactly what I did. So 
I'm just gonna put this on the back of my hand and tap it with my beauty blender then we're just gonna go to town on my face and when the guy was matching me this literally just looked like moisturizer it just looked so good and i find this foundation very much full coverage like you can totally build it up as well so that's like another thing that i really really like about it and a little goes a long freaking way like do you guys see this on my face right now it's like on freaking real love the finish of it. it just looks so so good i can't like rave about it more than i already have and then typically i don't use two layers but i'm feeling it so let's do it so obviously if you want more coverage go for it like you can totally build it okay so once it's starting to look really really blended i'll just go over it with the flat side on my beauty blender and also i feel like i definitely should have addressed this i use the real techniques beauty blender i just find it works better for the shape of my face obviously you can use whatever you want to blend this foundation in but i just find that i really really like the beauty sponge from real techniques so like i hate getting makeup on my hands so like you will see me like repeatedly using this all right so next i'm gonna go in with the tarte shape tape in the shade light beige i don't know if this matches me actually to be quite honest so hopefully it does this is a brand new tube of it um yeah it'll do but i just use it under my eye in the center of my forehead on any areas that need a little extra coverage like my cheek my chin I pretty much use this just everywhere. I love full coverage, especially if I'm like looking to impress. I also go to this makeup look whenever I'm like going out or like seeing family. I just always go overboard with the concealer and I'm not mad about it. I just love the concealer so, so much. So I will also use this side of the beauty blender and just blend. I get this question a lot and it's like, what is your holy grail like beauty product? and so i recently just got back into lash extensions and i was obsessed with them for like the longest freaking time and then i just recently got back into them i'll link my lash lady down below she's literally amazing and i don't know i it used to be mascara but obviously because i have lash extensions again i don't need mascara and I hate mascara, by the way. Like, I hate using it. So, I guess my go-to, like, beauty product now would probably be bronzer. I love bronzer and I love looking tan. It's just, like, my favorite thing ever. I miss being tan so much. But, like, it's the winter now. So, like, gotta be pale, you know what I mean? Also, I don't know if I said this, but I'm trying to grow out my eyebrows. So if they're looking a little crazy, that's why. All right, and then I do this part pretty quick because like I don't want anything to crease. So I'm trying really hard at this point to like not make any movements. So the next thing I go in with is by Fenty. If I can find it. Oh, it's right here. I use the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick in the shade Mocha. And what I have been doing recently is using like a brush and just doing that because i think the stick breaks me out <laughs> as weird as that sounds and i'll just dab it just like this and carve out anything that i want to be carved out i just really enjoy like this cream contour i think it looks really really like a lot more natural so i'm just dabbing that on and obviously, like, I know, like, my brushes are a lot more clean than the stick because, like, the stick has, like, direct contact with the skin. I also feel like I'm saving on, like, a lot of product by doing this method. So, I don't know. I could be wrong, but, like, whatever. I just, like, have this, like, fear of, like, breaking out by, like, certain products. And I'm, like, almost positive that, like, just using the stick directly causes me to break out. Because, like, I've never, ever broken out on my cheek until this year. And I only started using this product this year so like i don't know i'm like really confused about it so i focus this product like in my hairline so i don't know if y'all are gonna shower after you do this makeup look but i recommend it like 
after you, after you wear it and get your use out of it if like any of you are interested in this makeup look obviously um because i get it in my hairline so i'll typically go over it i just love the way it looks it looks so 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 natural and it just warms up the face really really nicely and i'm just obsessed with the way like i just love this technique so then i'll pinch ooh, itchy I'll pinch the brush down so like it's really 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 dense for my nose contour and I have I used to really not like nose contour but I just enjoy the way that it looks so I'll just go along the natural lines of my nose I don't know if you guys can see that just like blend it go all the way up towards where my eyebrow is and just blend bring it like right where that little knob is just like carve out your nose make you look your make yourself look like a kardashian and i'll just do that again on the other side and then obviously we'll fix this with like some highlight if it's like not perfect because sometimes it's just not and then do some more on the jaw carve that ish out and i don't know i just like using a brush for this part as well just because like i feel like i don't blend it enough with the beauty blender especially around my jaw all right so once that's all blended we're all done with that then i'm just going to touch up my under eye once more because obviously like the beauty blender still has like a lot of product on it and then i'm going to use on whoa then i'm going to move on to my translucent powder i use the hourglass veil translucent powder and i really really enjoy it i actually this is definitely like one of my favorite translucent powders and so, there we go. I'm going to use the side of my beauty blender and I'm just going to dip into it and I'm going to press that underneath my eye. And I really enjoy the color of this translucent powder. I don't know if that's weird, but I don't know. So I don't typically like bake at all. I'll just like press it in to my skin but like I'll bake around like where I put the contour like I'll just carve it out like so do the same on the other side just making sure that it's even I get so nervous that it's not neat even sometimes and then I'll do the center of the nose and then I just let it sit for like a minute like not even oh and typically when I'm waiting for this like all to set I'll actually just do my eyebrows. So because I'm growing on my eyebrows, I'm not going to do a lot to them. So I'm just going to brush them out with a little spoolie, brush them up. Let's just zoom in to my mirror and just have a look at this. So I will typically just like underline where I want the eyebrows to like start. Brush up. Outline. Where I want them to be. Dang, growing out your eyebrows is literally like oh, so hard. Ew, I literally hate that. Oh my god, I hate it. Wow. Holy crap, I really hate that. Oh my god, I hate it. Oh my god, I hate it. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna have to go in with concealer to fix this. So I'm just gonna carve out what I can. Alright, I'm gonna try and fix these and I'll get back to you guys in a minute. Okay, I think I fixed it. But I know for a fact I've left this carving situation on for way too long. So let's take that off. So what I did to my eyebrows, guys, is I just used this little angled brush and took my concealer on the back of my hand and tried to fix it. It's just I'm trying to grow out my eyebrows so they're very messy and working with hair on your face when you're trying to use liquids is very challenging. Anyway, we're back in business again, so let's finish this look. So the next thing I'm going to go in with because like obviously we're done with powders is I'm going to use this bronzer by Too Faced and it's the chocolate soleil bronzer and i use this pretty big angled brush for my bronzer and i'll just pretty much put this all over and it smells like chocolate 
and tastes like chocolate like i'm not joking and so for eyes i like literally don't do anything to them because i don't like to get my lash extensions dirty so like if i'm really looking for something to go on my eyelids i will just swoosh the bronzer brush like very fast above my eyelashes or above my oh my god on my eyelids just so like they get like a little something something you know what i mean all right and then after bronzer i'll go in with blush and please don't make fun of me but like i make fun of myself so it's fine I like hate buying blush. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I will basically use like any sample blush I get like in the mail or anything and I'll just use it until like I physically don't have a blush anymore. But when I physically don't have a brush anymore, I just won't use blush, which is so annoying of me. But I just use this um, <laughs> Tarte blush in the shade Party and I've been using this for literally years. That's why it's like so gross and disgusting and i know i should get a new one so y'all don't need to tell me like i know and i'll put blush like everywhere just because like i love the look of it and then next to finish off the face i'm gonna go in with this milk makeup highlighter in the shade iced and it's like a flex highlighter so like it doesn't just sit on your face like it moves around with like light so i'll just use this fan brush and basically put this everywhere because i love the look of blush Alrighty, so that's pretty much the face and then to finish off the face i'll use this huge urban decay all nighter spray i'm obsessed with this stuff so i'll just cover my lashes and i'll just go over it then just wait for it to set basically <laughs> all right so finishing touches i will take this little brush and pick up an eyeshadow palette so i'm looking at the morphe x jacqueline hill if you guys know me you guys know i'm obsessed with jacqueline hill and i'll just pick like a brown from like pretty much any palette that i'm like just feeling and i'll put it on my lower lash line just because like i hate mascara so like i'm not gonna put it on my lower lash line so i'll just like mix a few colors or something like right now i'm mixing <sighs> secret and mugshot so these two and i'm just gonna swipe it underneath my lower lash line just to like even things out and this will pretty much just like act like an eyeliner so like there's like some definition <laughs> underneath there because like as i said i don't like getting my eyelash extensions dirty i'm very particular about that okay so once that's done that's pretty much all i do for like makeup wise but if i'm going out i'm gonna put on a lip but because i'm gonna film more videos after this video i'm gonna put on a lip but like if i'm not going out and i'm just chilling i'll put on some chapstick so i really enjoy the laneige the laneige vanilla sleeping mask I just love the way this looks so this is a like lip combo i've been using since the summer and some girl at sephora showed me this so i use the huda beauty demi matte and i love this so so much in the shade day slayer and then on top of it i put on the fenty beauty um gloss bomb in the color fussy or fussy i don't know but this is just gold i love this so much so I'm just gonna line my lips and just put on some lipstick on my lips and I love overlining my lips as well guys like I love a fat lip <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I feel like I could so catfish anyone with this look so then I go over with the fussy or fussy and this just looks like you have like I literally look like I just gave myself lip injections lip injections <laughs> all right guys this is pretty much the finished look i love this makeup look so so much i feel like it's very very girly very very put together i pretty much this is just my go-to makeup look so i kind of just want to show you guys what i do on an everyday like just like my go-to i'm not gonna say every day because i don't wear this much makeup every single day like i mm, i would die i can't so i kind of just wanted to show you guys what i do and like what i use and i thought it would just be interesting for you guys to just see what i do and i love watching people put on makeup so hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna make this robe like my makeup robe so like if you see this robe you know it's gonna be a makeup tutorial if you see my white one you know it's a skincare routine yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up like comment subscribe you guys know i always reply to you guys' comments so i will see you guys in tomorrow <laughs> bye guys thanks so much for watching